the waste that we have here is just a mixture of all types of waste. You don't have to do a segregation when it comes to the Asher. Even you look at this one, it's just a power bank battery. So we can just drop it in, we can just put it into the Asher. Use plastics, cans, boxes, uh, your general municipal waste from your household. Everyday waste, easily treated, you don't have to do any sorting. If you put in a bubble bank, you can go. You put in a spray can canister, you can just go. All right. So, all this can go into the Asher easily, without sorting, without any segregations. And to operate the Asher is very easy. Ragu? So all you need to do is just shove everything, just push everything. The Asher now is operating about 400 to 500 degrees C. And as you continue to use it, it will build up to 700. The next one goes up to 1100 degrees C maximum. So once the cone chamber door is closed, it will be a closed loop system. There's no other emissions coming out of it. So the process for this to take place is about 30 to 60 minutes. Everything will be disintegrated into ash. What happened in the chamber is uh, baking and drying at ultra high temperature, right? So there's no fire, there's no combustion in this system. We are not burning. It's just heating and drying, right? So when, when you do not burn, there's a very different chemical reaction as compared to incinerators or WTE. So what we are availing here is a very clean, cost-efficient and practical solution to treat waste, to dispose waste without fuel, without diesel, without gas, without any petrol. It's going to be self-generated the heat and will still contain and still uh, continuously be treated, treating the waste without external fuel energy. Just for demonstration sake, this is untreated smoke, right? This is very bad. So from this untreated smoke, it goes through the um, proprietary water scrubber system, carbon filtration system, and then it goes through a second stage of the water scrubber system and the filtration system. So after, after the two filtration system, we release full compliance vapor. So we release only vapor after all the filtration system and the vapor is in the form of mild alkaline, a pH of 8.5. So it's not acidic and it's only vapor. The fume that comes out is 100% vapor, it's not smoke. Uh, for our 2 tonne solar, it's 70% uh, of uh, vapor, 30% of smoke. And our emissions are in full compliance to the US EPA standards. Uh, our suppression system is easily more than 99% effectiveness against the allowable limits. Okay, we have three different models of the Asher, uh, being the 2 tonne solar, 2.5 tonne electric smokeless and 4 tonne electric smokeless. So the, the 2 tonne solar, is, it can be deployed off-grid on islands, rural areas, kampung, villages. Uh, for the 2.5 tonne and 4 tonne electric smokeless, it's more suitable for urban setting where it releases only vapour. And the power, the electricity that is used by the electric unit is not for the heat treatment process. The electricity here is for the aeration system and for the water scrubber system. And the power that we consume from the Asher is, on the average, is not more than 4 kilowatt per hour, which is very much the same as your 1.5 horse aircon at home. So the, when you see fire, means the temperature is really high and there's a contact of oxygen. oxygen. Otherwise, it's, it's a closed-loop system. Uh, oh, oxygen will be exhausted inside. What we are doing now is currently relocation of waste from one location to another location, and finally, at the landfill or at the incinerator. In this case, everything that comes here, ends here, stop here. From the asher itself, there's no secondary discharge. There's no secondary contamination. Everything stops here. 
even even the asher, the consumables that is used to maintain the asher, it will be self-treated in the system. It will not be sent somewhere else. And the byproduct of the asher, which is the ash down here, can be used as fertilizers or you can use it to make sand bricks. This thing is green and environmental friendly. Even the surrounding of the waking area of this place is clean. We have tested the uh, environment air quality within this working area using a system. Um, the, the air quality parameters that includes CO, CO2, PM2.5, uh, NOx and SOx um, is all in the green zone. It means that this, this is a place that is uh, suitable and safe for the workers to work. There's no smell, very minimal smell. Uh, there's no water, there's no wastewater around here. There's no uh, bacteria or old rodents or, or flies, flying, maggots flying around here because the waste are treated at source, as early as source. Whatever that comes, we just put it into the asher and treat it. Imagine this is being placed at condominiums, uh, shopping malls, airports, uh, low-cost apartments, or a, a taman, taman perumahan. Waste are treated at source rather than being accumulated and be transferred to one location to another culture. In our case, in the KL scenario, will be from the household community to the transfer station and when the transfer station, then you go to the landfill. In terms of um, concentration, this is two and a half ton electric smokeless. So on a daily basis, we are treating between two and a half ton to three tons. An incinerator, a last year incinerator, ranges between 500 tons to 1,000 tons. All right. uh, in terms of emission temperature, an incinerator will release its emission at the temperature between 150 degrees C to 180 degrees C. Four hours, we release at below 48 degrees C. So in terms of temperature, it doesn't impact the, the environment. In terms of uh, pollutants, uh, like I mentioned earlier, our suppression system is up to NAP up to 99% efficiency. For instance, um, the most pressing matters will be dioxin and furan. Allowable limits for dioxin and furan based on the US EPA standards is 0.1 mg per meter cube. This asher releases 0.0014, which is about 99% lower than the allowable limits. In terms of CO, carbon monoxide, allowable limits based on the US EPA standards is 50 mg per meter cube. Our system releases 0.2 mg per meter cube. That's about 95%, uh, lower than the dollar over limits. So we have tested, this is not a concept, this is not a trial. We are in 13 countries, we have supplied more than 60 units. <music>